Hi friends, welcome to Bean Sprout Reactions. My name is Brianna. Um, so I wanted to briefly um, tell you some things before you dive into this reaction video. Um, one, the following video you will watch is actually from my previous channel, Brianna C Reacts, that was taken down in October of 2021 because, the year 2021, because of Warner Media. Thanks a lot. It had to do with TV shows. But basically I three, received three copyright strikes in less than 24 hours. Two of them at the exact same time, so that's always great. <sighs> The point is, I made this little caveat at the beginning of these reactions because this premise of not being a vocal teacher and kind of the silly little thumbnail and a little silly little arrow thing is something new for this channel, Bean Sprout Reactions, um, my second channel. So the following video you're about to watch doesn't have that premise in mind. So I'm just a normal person reacting. I mean, still I'm a normal, kind of normal person reacting to a music video. Now, some of the videos might be really old, so the quality may not be as good as it is now, at least at the beginning of 2022. And some of them are a little better. Um, but again, this intro is only on videos that were part of my previous channel, Brianna C reacts. Any new videos I record for Bean Sprout Reactions won't have this intro. So I just want to give you this little caveat here at the beginning. I've done my best to edit the video as well, best I can, so that way it can kind of be okay to watch and listen to. But like I said, sometimes the quality is going to be there, sometimes not so much. So without further ado, let's dive into the reaction. So this is another video that's a little out of the way. I just finished reacting to um, the Choral Scholars of University College Dublin, their version of Dulemon, and now I'm going to react to a cover, which I don't tend to do, a live one of For Good From Wicked, which is one of my favorite. I've actually never seen the musical once, but it's one of my favorite soundtracks I listen to a lot. Um, but the singers are Susan McFadden and Eva McMahon from Celtic Woman. I love Eva's voice. When I first heard it on their song, Tear in a Nogue, I was like, oh, this is a voice they've been missing. She's so wonderful. And then Brian McGrain on the, a lot of mix in there. <laughs> They're all Irish, so it kind of makes sense. Mick, 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 mick. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, he is on the piano. Uh, and it's kind of a simple... Just their voices, some kind of crappy lighting from the f window, from the light, <laughs> from the lights, ceiling lights, and um, just their uh, piano. So I'm just gonna dive right in and listen to their lovely voices, and watch this fun video. I love how it starts with piano. Ooh, you hear that? Just pause it right at the beginning. First of all, it totally makes sense that Eva would have Glinda's role because in this song, Glinda is actually more of the alto. She, she sings more of the lower parts versus where it's kind of reversed where Glinda would get a lot of the higher parts and then um, in the duets and then um, Elphaba would come in lower, um, but this song kind of reversed it. So it makes sense that Eva is singing the lower part, but the, I don't know what the camera was doing going in and out like that. I'm sorry, I have to I have to pause. Okay, first of all, I think Eva would make a beautiful alphabet. She just has the features for it. Second of all, I don't know what she's doing with her elbows. I know she's just emotive and being, you know, lovely like that, but I was like, what you doing, Eva? Trying to fly away? Sorry, that's so rude. I'm so sorry. That's true. But I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet. Change for the better. 
Sorry, did you hear her do that? Sorry, I can't even do that. I can't even do it. Her training for Celtic Celtic music is calming through quite a bit. The way how she does the throat. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's beautiful. It is. It's interesting how she went me. Why? I've been watching Tara. What I can't. I'm not looking at her last name. Tara do her. Tara Simon do her. Um, reacting to singers, and so I'm picking up little things from her. Um, but she talks about me being more of a ah. That's um a bit why uh. It's good to go long before you go wide. Um, but I wonder if the me. Part of me. I wonder if that's part of her Celtic background, the wider ease. I would love Tara Simon's do a reaction to this, just so she could critique it. And it's purely live, that's why. I'm also, I'm also curious to hear how Susan will sing this song, because to me, she's always had less of a Celtic sound, and then, and more of a. I don't, I don't know. I mean, when you hear Eva sing, it comes through so strongly. I wonder how we're gonna like how Susan. If it won't, we'll put them. Fine. I learned from you, you'll be with me. Like so it's a choice, yeah. And now, whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship blown from its morning, like a wind. Okay, before that, I was waiting for them to see together. <laughs> before I listened to that, um, I kind of always write this. Susan has, um, when you listen to you, I think she has those little lilts and those little runs that are kind of part of, I guess, Celtic music. Um, Susan has always had this, be she has, a, I mean, this beautiful, clear tone. Both of them do. They're both amazing vocalists, obviously. Um, but for me, Susan has always been, um, I, I don't know how else to word a little less Celtic in terms of she just she has this beautiful voice but it when I don't know when she sings in uh, Irish in Gaelic sorry um, it sounds different than when Eva does it or even when Chloe does it or I don't remember her name but the redhead the curly redhead who was a part of the group a while back how she does it it might be just be the, purely their accents but also might be how they were trained growing up um, I'm not a professional vocal teacher or coach I just pick up things and pick on things and pick at things and I go from there but I want to hear them sing together so let's just okay Still doing the elbow thing. Okay, before the amazing harmony, I know, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm pausing this so much. Uh, I love hearing them breathe. I just want to say this, I love hearing them breathe. That sounds stupid, but I love hearing them breathe. Also, Broadway is such a big, big sound, and and you hear with Susie how the way she projects is very lovely. 
but all, with Eva, it's a little more harder to hear her. Um, I, 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 it's probably because the tools and how you sing traditional Celtic music is going to have require different. I don't know. It's going to be different than how you sing big, long Broadway. It's like when the people who are, who grew up on Broadway, like Leah Michelle, were on Glee. They had trouble singing pop songs because it's just how you approach pop songs and folk songs and kind of fun songs is very different than how you would you know approach a Broadway song. All right, now I'm just going to listen. I'm just going to listen. I'm gonna sit on my hands. That was so much fun. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna rewatch it since I was obnoxious and just paused over and over and over again. So let me go rewatch it and then I'll give you my review. Hi guys. So I uh, rewatched it. Um, obviously I'm not gonna critique on the lighting because they're in a basement, just our rehearsal space, just doing their thing. Um, but that was absolutely lovely. Obviously, they have beautiful voices. They are wonderful ladies. Um, I wasn't expecting bad singing, and that's to be silly. Um, but what was fun here is to see how their background affected how they sang. Um, I just want to grab it while I still have it in my head. But funny with Eva is you can hear her little, uh, like, her riffs a little bit, I guess would be the term, are so typical um, of how you would hear in a Celtic song. Or her, how she would slide into her notes. Um, one change for the better. So I can't. Okay. There's a moment where uh, where she goes um, in the song where she goes a uh, say where she I can't do it because I don't have her voice. But she hits no and she goes mm, change. But, and then when she goes down the changed, I think it was changed. If I've been changed. But uh, anyway, sorry, and I'm just making obnoxious noises. But when she goes back down, she has a um, that kind of like you know Celtic folk sound to her. Um, and there's a moment where she says, "I think we're clear" or something. Her little Irish R comes through. It's very cute. Um, but uh, sorry for my kind of bad singing. But I love how you can hear so much of Eva's training come through of how she sings a song. Um, with Susan, it's kind of the same thing. Um, watching Tara Simon videos, she mentions how when you're doing the E's, like me, we, see, whatever, um, you should learn how to do go uh, long before you can go wide. I forget whatever the word might be. Um, but when she said me, instead of going me, she was more of a me. It's wide. Um, and... Uh, mo I mean, come on, by the time, by this time, she's had so much training that she can most likely choose how she says her means. But also, I think because she did it so consistently, it might also be a style thing in Celtic music. I never really, really thought about that. But there's a couple things when they go their ooze. Um, Cause I knew you. Um, instead of going ooh, she goes, uh, it's like a uh part. I don't, it's kind of, and it still sounds beautiful and great. Um, because they have years of training and they're amazing, they can sing however the heck they want to. But I think a lot of how they sing the song has to do with their background. 
I've never analyzed a song quite as in-depthly with this. I think Tara Simon has helped me so much um, with my own singing, but also just to kind of watch a little bit. But they're amazing vocalists. The pianist, Brian, was absolutely fantastic, but I absolutely loved... I mean, just how this is just how amazing their vocals are when they're in, you know, probably just have a microphone hanging over their heads in a rehearsal space like that, and they still sound amazing. It reminded me, um, when I, I did a 5K in February, it was cold, really, really cold. I think it was like 30 some odd degrees. Um, and this woman sang the national anthem, and she sounded really good. The sound system was crap. It was so bad. It's freezing and super windy, and yet the song, like, the anthem sounded really good. And it's just a testament to how good a vocalist is if they're handed just bad, bad sound system, bad weather, bad all that, and they still sound really good. It shows how much they take care of their throat, how talented they are, and how well-trained they are, whether it's self-taught or, or not. But thank you so much for watching. I love fun doing this one specifically. I'm sorry for, I usually don't pause that much. But that was a lot of pausing in this episode, video. But, um, like, comment, subscribe, um, share with your friends, share with your enemies, check out my reactions to TV shows, anime, other music videos, and I'll see you next time.